Okay, now that we have done the steady simulation on steady simulations, interpolating the solution, starting the solution for a steady one, uh, getting good at the initial conditions, saving frequencies, choosing time steps, and some post processing in part of you, uh, let's move to another subject that will complement somehow what we have done before this is before not moving to the less which is uh mesh refinement okay with influence as i told you before it is better to do it in at the mesh level okay so you have the geometry and the mesh better do it but i will show you how to do it here in fluent and we are going to do some also some post-processing just to compare solutions in, in part of you so these first things that i want to show you that we, we saw how to save automatically the solution to inside format but you can also save one specific format so here I have the coarse mesh I have the final solution this is for 20 seconds and if you want to save the solution this specific time step you go here export solution data choose your format and then choose what, what you want to say so I will save this L0 RL and just pressure velocity you press right, you give it a, a name. So we call it new and it will save all the data on the mesh. This is just one single time. So, okay. So later we're going to post process using uh, part of it. What I wanted to show you here was that, uh, okay, let's visualize first the solution. Okay. So if I go results, Okay, so this is the velocity field. This is a time 20 seconds. Okay, full and steady. And if I will recall, it was a CFL of five. And we have access here. So you can access, for instance, we have a steady statistic. So you have the mean pressure. Look at also we have access to RMSE. Okay, root mean square. So this is standard deviation minus the, the mean value. Okay, so we have the fluctuations, actually, these are actually the fluctuations. And if I put in, uh, so we have the fluctuations. And set out, so we have the, our values there. So your statistics, okay, so you just want, uh, what else? Again, turbulence, you can access all your variables, Y plus, everything. And what we want to see now is custom field fill L0. So look at that L0 here depends for, it is for a specific time, not for this specific time step. So it is recommended when you do this one also to compute the statistic of this one and get the statistics. So usually statistics in this case, you will have this weight that it will move and probably will give you a I come here, a triangular, and then when you do the meshing, you would put it there. In this case, I didn't compute it, but remember to compute it is, rec is highly recommended. And then if we put RL, this is the one that will give me a refinement ratio, auto range, and see that everything above five will be in, that is what resolves. So here in the far wake, it's telling you that kind of is resolving well, but here, is missing something so maybe we can add some refinement here but also let me go and report and let me compute surface integral the average value face average of what turbulence and let me go y plus here so see that our our uh, average value okay that was the maximum sorry it's about 19 so probably might be better also to add some refinement in the mesh okay to to go to 10 okay remember it's better to do it at the mesh uh, the, uh, in the, using the mesh in utility but if you want to do it here it is possible so let's do it first to to add two refinement conditions one for white plus or close to the to the wall and the other uh, here in the wake. Something also interesting to show you that I can create an isosurface in the domain and I will use RL and I will put 5. Okay, so this will give me kind of the boundary. 
So let's see if I have, yeah, they have it there. So if I plot here, it will give me the boundary of the region. So everything outside this, see so that it is the, where I should put more grid points to better resolve those scales. Remember that on a steady solution, this will change from time step to time step. Okay, so that we have this, let's go here and self-register. Also, you can access that here. I have it here, results and, okay, give me a minute, the main here, adaptation, you have also those, those options there. But I will go here, I will tag cells. So the felt refinements that I would like to do See that you have the option Y plus Y star. So I will choose only in the square, okay? And I will go compute, I told you. So basically choose values here and everything outside these values will be tagged for refinement. Okay, so save display. See that these cells will automatically tag for refinement. Okay, so for instance, you will see that if I put here one, didn't have anything, okay? So they're contained it, so they're not refined. Okay, so this is how you will play with this. So you can add this one, and what Fluent will do is will split these cells, okay? So now you have that group, okay, so the register. Let me create so as you go, you select new, refine, and see that it will be automatically refined, just those cells. Okay, so see original, adapted. So if we go back to mesh in this case, and as you zoom in, see that you, the cells were split, and even here in this direction. Okay, so it's the sense that it's practical because you need to re, re, to go back to the mesh, but it's not ideal. You know that probably this refinement will be really easy to 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 do in the mesh utility. Let's add another refinement type. Okay, so I can go new from boundary, and then I can say from this one. You can choose here cell distance, normal distance. So I would say cell distance, and I want to say the next two cells from that wall, and see that it's choosing the next two cells, including that corner that previously it wasn't chosen. So I put three, see that the next three cells are chosen. So let me tag this, okay? This is the one that I will use and then go boundary. And I want to refine just those cells. Okay, if I go now here, draw mesh. And this, just to put the color there. Okay. And I don't want to see this. See what we have. Now this was refined, and now surely this one will be my white plus average period. It was about 19. Now this will be below 10. I'm sh quite sure. Okay, in all light direction. So this is one way to do the refinement within Fluent. So the other one that I would like to add is here. I would I want to say where my RL is between, let's say, two and three. Let me switch it. So between let's say yeah two and three three and two and five at more refinement okay so how to do that one is something very similar you go back here new and you go there are many actions i will use the field variable i would say cells in range you choose your variable it will be rl and you put there two five you have many options. Now, if you want to use gradients, whatever, but for me, just give that one. 
save this play, give you a warning that there are too many cells in my slow down scenes, but it doesn't matter here, I will show you and see that it's tagging so, so here you see that you have some some noise there that is trying to to refine as well. And you have that group there, and again you can go here, fill boundary, and you can say refine that. So if you do this one, this will be expensive, it will be heavy, it will put a lot of cells there. I won't do it, I just will use only the one for the boundary layer. And let's run a, a couple of time steps just to see what happened now with my with my uh with my solution, okay, with my Y plus value. So I will need to compute it here. Let me go here and let me change this definition that was maximum. Let me put it average. Okay, just to date it. And what else? Nothing else. Okay, so see that now that I have a much finer mesh, I will need a smaller time. So previously for this, the time step was about two now that I recall, I think. So now it would it would be larger. Okay, so I need to change the time because here I max full time. Let me put thirteen and calculate. So as usual, there will be a jump in your residuals. Okay, and then we have the monitors. So my white plus, remember this is average. It's about six, okay? So this is okay. So we went from 18 to six by just adding three levels. And see my CFL number went high, okay? Increased. So previously, yeah, but from this time, for this time, to time it was about 1.5, something like that. So adding that refinement, increase that one. So this requires that I will need to reduce my time step. So see that this is also the problem with refinement or not the problem is just a consequence of what you are doing. So as you make it fine, it's clearly that you will need to reduce your time step to get your CFL number within, within the values that you, you are interested. So let me stop here. And then this will require quite aggressive time reduction. Let's see that I will need to go 0 0.0005 to probably get something about one or two. Okay, I need to check this one. Okay, yes, about 1.2. Okay. So this will be my time set. So see that it's converging in about three iterations. Ideal, actually two iterations. That is ideal. But you make now the math that see previously using 10 to the minus three, it was taking, let's say two days. This one that you are halving will go four days. Just, and see that the increment in certain in number of cells wasn't that much. It's just reducing the distance, the Y plus value related to Y plus. So see, sometimes also you have to be careful in non-steady because ideally we would like to go always well resolving, but on unsteady that will have a price. So again, would be a compromise for use. Okay, using world functions, use world functions in on a steady. On the other side, you are doing steady simulations. My advice is always go for world resolving. Then you can interpolate a world resolving into a world modeling mesh with no problem. We have done that. Okay, so if I stop here, we got the idea. And um, probably let's see what we have is we already have something here. Okay, well. Okay, so this was for this one is you is let me open now. I also have this, this was the quartz mesh, by the way. So just take a picture, a mental picture of this. And let's go to define mesh and let's see what we have there. So 
So by the way, in the cases that you have, in the files, in the interpolation files, in here, the urns, this file, interpolation file, corresponds to this solution, to 20 seconds. The same will be here in fine. So this will be less 20 seconds, runs, okay, this is the, the, the runs, I think, I don't recall if it is couple or simple, but it, it is a run solution, but here less, all the unsteady correspond to 20 seconds. So here you can use the who runs 20 seconds and interpolate it into your fine mesh. Okay, so we have that. So here the mesh is the same, even the wall, the wall distance will be the same. The only thing that we have more cells in the spans y direction. So if I show this, okay, so a little bit different. Okay, we have finer mesh and we'll resolve different stuff. And already see that my maximum is higher. Okay, so this one is probably giving me better resolution. And I actually see that this one is resolving all the wake much better. Okay. But again, you can use the same criteria and add some refinement, but those refinement that you add will be local. So just to show you, for instance, in this case, and if I go start register new, and let me do fill variable, and I want source and branch, I want custom fill function, and I want, okay, yes. Okay, so let me go better three to five. Okay, so see that if I pick up those cells, I do like this, refine, it will take a while, okay, we'll add a lot of cells. So see that probably it will be adding this many cells. Okay, you see from almost half a million, it went to almost a million, almost double your mesh count. Um, let me plot. Okay, let me plot this. Plan. Okay. Uh, 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 why? So let me put a velocity fill probably there. Okay, I think now it's easier to be. So see that this will be a, a remission, but it's local. Okay, so and then when my solution evolves, now you are not resolving that those are scales that it should be. Okay. Okay, so this is how to do the refinement here. Okay, so this will be an extra step, but again, better do it in uh, in your machine tool. And, and from here, as I mentioned, that compute also your statistic for RL and see where you will have. So here, as you compute those statistics, you will see that it will be kind of a calm region here. And then you will know that you will need to add more cells here. But in general, this mesh is already a good one to, to do the less we have seen here. Okay, that will be the next step. So uh, before doing that, let's do also the post-processing using Paraview, okay, because I save those two solutions and compare in Paraview just to, again, reinforce the use of this tool. So remember to, to use your GPU car when open Paraview. Okay, inside uh, Paraview, let's open the two cases. Okay, so we save the quartz mesh, so I have it here. So remember when you open, select all files, open the NCAS file, and select inside reader, okay? So we'll give you this, this is a warning, don't pay attention to this. I will check with that, but that's not, I think it's not a problem. So this is the quartz mesh. Okay, so you can check with edges there. So, and then we're going to compare. So we have RL as well. Let me change the background. 
And let me create a second window. Now I will plot in that window in the second one, white as well. So here, see the blue frame means that this is the active window and I'm not visualizing that case there. And now I select the second case with data, which will be okay, all files and this one, I think, uh, and site reader. Okay, don't pay attention there again. Uh, yes, we have this one. Okay, this will be the second case. Okay, this is the refined mesh and now and see that we have the adaptation in this one. So now let me link with this this right click link cam link camera. So click there and now there are bus link. Okay. So you want to unlink uh, here you have manage links. Okay, so here you see the quartz and this one only see the refined mesh. I don't want to see the scales. Okay, so what, what I want to do is create a cog plane here. And the same cog, cog plane there. Okay. Oops. Okay, no, no, this one. No, okay, so that here, cut plane, apply. Okay, so I don't want, okay, leave it like that. Okay, so see quartz and fine mesh and see that we have the, the resolution are different, but we are interested in looking at our L and RL. Okay, so see that we have different fields. So in this case, you, you have this one because remember that we added the refinement, and I think I, I didn't I didn't run, so we have this. Okay, but see that they are very very they are very different. Okay, so this one get it resolved better. So here, much better resolution. Okay, so we can compare LCU as well. And surface with edges and you can see the edges just it's automatically triangulated. So this is that, that one, no triangulation problem. You see those lines, it's just the projection of the of the shapes of the cells. Okay, it's not a big deal. Okay, so see here that we have the refinement. Okay, but as I didn't run the, the a couple of times, so we have the, the interpolation there that it's missing a little bit. Okay, see there. Those holes also you see, so that refinement is not a big deal again. So see that again here, you can compute all these quantities here. Okay, here is, oh, okay, I was looking at zero previously there, RL. Okay, now click on, no. And this one, let me put also RL. Okay, clearly, well, see here, RL values are larger, so this one have better, better resolution of your structures. To go velocity magnitude also and again as you want here you see here that we don't have the q criterion from open phone as you want you can compute it so you can go here filters and you have gradient so remember that it's based on velocity see so here compute criterion enable that quantity It's a while, so you can guess this is just one time step. As you have many time steps, it will be will compute it for every single time step. And then we can go here, Q criterion, 
100 probably will be a little bit messy or will be nice because we have the refinement okay okay so that this is what we have there and if i plop in the cut plane let me change that color oh, yeah. uh, da, 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 da. Uh, no it's just uh, i want this color okay so yeah so yeah as long as the refinements are just entering there capturing that one but remember it was a different refinement for that uh, we're using there so it does not correspond to the q criterion again you can add a refinement in the q criterion and you can refine resolve much better and can be adaptive so each time it would refine that is really expensive by the way but it can be done with no problem so quartz mesh fine mesh with the adaptive mesh refinement and we compare the scales that clearly are different so i think this is all for this tutorial so the next we move into less test simulation scale resolving uh, simulations okay well thank you for your attention and hope you enjoyed bye